our next challenge is going to be make a simple function called greet. Now all this function is going to do is return hello world, but they want us to get clever about how we return it. I see that they don't even give us a little template. So I'm going to go ahead and use namespace. Hopefully it accepts that. Now we can go ahead and get started. It's going to return a string. So we can just say string greet. Uh, well, it doesn't have a parameter because, I mean, it always returns string. I mean, it always returns the same thing. So we can go with, I don't know, it wants us to be clever. So let's just go ahead and say, let's just, let's just do it in one line. Non-void function. So let's just say return hello world. If it's in one line, I don't know if it needs a semicolon, but let's just throw it in there. Just cause. How? Yeah. Okay. I was like, does it need it after the statement or no? But apparently it, it does. I mean, not after, but it, it does during. Also, I spelled hello wrong, so we'll just leave it at that. See out. Greet. Greet, not greet, greet, okay, and that should be it, let's go ahead and run it, if it runs, there it is, a one-liner, first though, I do need, I do need namespace, I don't know if it's going to allow that, some allow it, some don't, alright, now just paste what we had on there, and let's go ahead and run it, or let's test it first, see if uh, we can use the namespace. And we could, so now we attempt it and it should be good. Nothing too crazy. Now, what do I expect from people that already know C++? Let's see, a one-liner, maybe a different way, maybe not returning. Maybe maybe there's a short way of, of doing functions, who knows. So here it is. Clever. No, but yeah, it is best practice to not be clever about it. Just do it regularly. Yeah. Vector. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess. This is one way to do it, yeah. Great. Another one, yeah. Yeah, that's that's one way to do it. Write a function. Wait, what? Define roses are red. String green. Oh, okay. Oh, you can define uh, you can define spaces. Roses are red, violets are blue. This poem makes no sense. I didn't know you can do that. Let's try that out. Wait, what's up with the? There's no, um, oh, there it is. Let's try it out. I, I didn't know you can do that, so. Oh, but I do have main. I don't know if that's going to mess with it. We can try it. If it works, it works. Actually, I'll leave, I'll leave string there. Also, what I am going to need is, I'm going to need to add, um, standard C out. Let's go ahead and run it. Maybe I get errors. Maybe I don't. Well, there it is. I guess you can define anything here. I didn't know that. What else? Oof. Damn. Damn. What is he doing? What? What? STD great. GA. What? GA run. GA best. Class GA. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not at that level yet. But he it looks like he just runs a function here, or he or her. Moving on to the next one. Consider an array list of sheep. Where some sheep may be missing from their place. We need a function that counts the number of sheep present in array. True means present. So if true, get that counter up by one. 
So this one's gonna take in a vector. All right, let's go ahead and just. If I don't need strings, I'm, I might have to do this on a new video. But we'll see. We'll keep. Uh, obviously, we'll keep main. I don't know if I. I don't. I don't know if I deleted. Um, using say, namespace. All right. Um. Let's see. This, so this function here. So. We're gonna go ahead and. I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. Create the template. Maybe we'll finish the next. Uh, we'll finish in the next video. But we'll get started on it. So, bull, you know, the basics. Boom. Um, we'll have a counter. So, pretty much just counter zero. And then we'll have a, we'll have a for loop. And then the for loop, it can just be, let's say, I don't know. See, the other time I did a for loop and it like automatically filled everything for me, but not in this case. We're just gonna have to just roll with it. So zero, I, as long as it's I, I is less than um, R dot size. I don't know why it's not picking up on that either. Yeah, it's, it's missing quite a few things. Um, I'll do that as well. And then from here, we'll kind of just loop through it. So essentially, if array i is true, I don't know how you, how do you do true for a boolean? Some languages you have to do a capital T. It looks like in this case it's all gonna be lowercase. So we'll do if i if array i equals true, then counter increment. That's it. Then all we need to do is just return. Return counter. Implicit undefined template a vector. Oh, I see. I don't have a, I'm not including vector, so I need a vector. Implicit inst instantiation. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, yeah, so we don't have, um, so let's say, uh, let's go ahead and just run this one. Actually, it might just run. Let's just go ahead and try it. Test. And it it's good to go. Attempt. It's good. There it is. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good ass day. Peace out.